Hi folks, and welcome to more Dominion Suicide gameplay. So hey, finally, <laughs> we got the Sea Hag here. And, yeah, and I was uh, I was already cheating a bit because I, I put it into my like list and just like the band the ambassador basically because we played so many games with it. So mm, I'm not sure if Sea Hag is worth it here though. So probably just going to skip it. Yeah, I'm gonna open it. Look, so Sea Hag used to uh, back in the day. Sea Hag used to like people considered it the top uh, four cost card. Like it was yeah before the adventures uh, adventures came out. I think it was uh, competing with like remake as the best four cost card in the minion. And uh, I guess uh, so. Yeah, lookout kind of works nicely against Sea Hack. Uh, single lookout won't be enough, though. I'll get more. But I think see, uh, yeah. I, uh, as you can see, I skipped Hack on the opening because I think this board has enough draw and so on stuff that you can kind of ignore it. I'm not having the best draws here, but I'm gonna try and ignore Sea Hack here because I think it's not worth it here. Because we have like this, um, as usual, we have this huge fishing village wharf engine, and that's just, uh, it's supposed to beat it handily. I might, if my if my opponent does not play hack the whole lot, I might um, actually get one a bit later when I stabilize uh, stabilized the deck. Uh, so I already have to work, I think I'll, I kind of need the second lookout though, I must get a hack. Not sure if uh, it's worth it to skip the war for, but I kind of feel like I might need it. Mm, obviously, lookout is not an ideal trash because uh, when having some wars in play, I can't. Uh, it does not counter the the sea hack, actually, because uh, now when you draw some cards at the start of the turn, you just draw this curse, right? You can't even if you had lookout in hand, you can't really. Trash the curse guaranteed. So my opponent loads on treasuries. I don't I don't um, like that. Uh let's just get another oh hey, I, I don't have any villages yet. Oops, kind of forgot about those. Um Alright, I guess I, I guess I need I guess I need a village. So here we are drawing what uh, another wharf and uh, lookout. Hopefully he does not play his Sika here because I don't want any of those discarded. Oh, never mind. It was a it was a haven, right? I played. <laughs> yeah, my wharf is in discard. So nice. I'm super happy to see that because that shows how deceptive lookout, how terrible lookout can be at times. Uh, well, what can you do in in these situations? Well, you beat it. You trash the card you need the least, and you know, and, and yeah, I mean that was extremely unlikely to happen because this deck is full of junk, and I revealed three cards that I didn't want to reveal. So, whoops. Uh, I think, mm, I think it's more beneficial for me to trash here, although it, it is questionable. Let's uh, set aside the copper, trash the curse. Okay. And get another fishing village. Yeah, I'm. I'm get, My draws are kind of like not very nice here. <laughs> but my opponent has zero uh, lookouts, and that I, I think is not good. And only one wharf. Opening like silver hag or like fishing village hag is definitely not out of question. Uh, so now that I have two villages, maybe I'll get the hack. There are only three curses gone from the pile. I just didn't. I, I kind of didn't want to open with hack because it's such a. So yeah, the the biggest problem with hack. Don't get me wrong. The attack is like really oppressive, but it doesn't it doesn't do anything for you. It just takes you know, space in your deck, and uh, it's uh, offensively terminal, and yeah. It's just such a bad card. Mm. All right, but looks like we are getting this deck together. 
looks like it, certainly. So my opponent just keeps buying treasuries. Mm, it's bad. Uh, sadly, uh, this uh, eight cards don't have any villages in them. I kind of need more villages. Let's let's get another village here. Okay, that's just the prawns. So, well, I'm gonna discard this lookout since I'm gonna play the wharf here anyway. Or rather draw the sewer and just get another village. So one thing about lookouts is I think lookout is a very underrated card in general. And I think it is a very good uh, it is a very good card. Because it allows you to A trash a card and discard a bad card. I mean at the start of the game you are kinda guaranteed to trash uh, well <laughs> lookout didn't work really nicely for me because look at that I still have all my starting estates at turn 13 but oh well uh, not not drawing good here definitely but yeah this uh, this draw I had where I needed to trash uh, some a nice card with my lookout at the very start of the game uh, that's just mm, that happens sometimes but it's very it's very rare that this ha thing happens Pawn uh, gets a couple of bronzes there. Um, so I'd rather, I'd rather not set aside curses. I'd rather set aside coppers for, because copper is more useful in hand, and also that leaves more chances of uh, curse being in the discard, and then I can maybe trash it with my lookout. That maybe could have been a third lookout, because I think third lookout is, is fine. So, on many boards actually, you would totally go over like three or four lookouts uh, even. Well, four might be an overkill, but they are so fast at mm, trashing, and if you reveal like... Mm, usually, even revealing like everything, like all the good cards, is not that terrible. You can usually, you know, just okay it's it's a very small price to pay usually uh, for just being able to trash this quickly and sift through the deck all right we're gonna get a couple of wars in play here mm, three wars all right that sounds really good uh, so I'm definitely behind on points. What's up with the piles? Piles are kind of low, so I need to be careful because curses are gonna run quite soon. Uh, I think I, I'm just getting a wharf here. I'm not gonna buy uh, this haven, just because I don't want the piles to just disappear, because I'm behind in points. And I mean, Haven, it's nice. I would prefer to have this extra Haven, but it's not, uh, it's not very important. And I'd rather be careful. I think I, my opponent's uh, deck is very slow. Uh, he doesn't really have the whole lot of draw. So I think I will be able to uh, outscore him if I get the outpost. Although at this point, you know, I am definitely behind, so. I'm not by any means guaranteed to do that, but mm, I would say my draws were exceptionally bad <laughs> in regards of uh, the lookout. Uh, so trash this, I think having a wharf is more important, so discard. I'd rather uh, draw this wharf right away, so, you know, I'd rather mm, not have a guaranteed card I don't want to trash on top already so uh, that would increase the chances of uh, uh, not needing to trash a good card mm. let's try and put more efficient villages in play well looks like I had enough um, now this probably should just be an outpost for me I was only able to put one wharf in play, so 
not ideal. I guess I only have four wharves. Yeah, okay, I have four wharves in this deck. So, mm, yeah, if, if, if I'm gonna have this uh, turn, if I'm gonna draw nicely and, and play the outpost in some wharves, I, I, I'm in a good shape, I think. All right. Um, I'm kind of not sure what to set aside here. Let's go with the curse, because I might n need the money. Uh, I know there is another wharf down there in the lookout. So maybe I don't want to play this lookout, actually. Hmm. Yeah, there is definitely another wharf and definitely another lookout. So, okay, I'm not going to play this lookout. Uh, definitely want yet another wharf here and something like a treasury. Mm. Okay, play this lookout, trash that, discard the village. Uh, now I can trash the hag because it does nothing. Um, and let's count the money. I might want to get the treasure maps here because I, I think it should be the best, the fastest way for me to get the economy. Let's do that. Uh, it's a bit greedy, but uh, I need to. Uh, I mean, I need to take my chances, I think, because um, the piles are running. There is no alternative DP on this board. But apparently my opponent is not just having good turns here. Ah, buy the lookout. Yeah. It's a good card. All right. Well, let's discard this curse. It's, it's good to discard the curse because now I can probably just trash it, uh, guaranteed. Yeah. All right. Mm. So, uh, I think we are getting the gold here. Uh, I'm I'm a bit too lazy to count here, but I'm not going to assign uh, curses uh, states because uh, I I want to have a chance of trashing them the next turn. And uh, let's just get a bronze and a wharf. I kind of want more wharfs now that my my deck just grew quite fatter because of those golds. And yeah, I only got one in play here, so. I think it's quite okay for me. So my opponent has zero worse in play. I think it's quite okay for me to just get double runs here. So it looks like we are uh, doing fine. Mm, this prince is not... I wouldn't take this prince to be honest. So let me check. Uh, it, it It is in hand. So let's just buy the last prince. Yeah. So even without... Uh, the good draws. Sea Hag is quite beatable. <laughs> Alright, uh, so thanks for watching and see you in the next one.